Good evening and welcome to St. Thomas More. Thank you for joining us for Mass today. We have the following announcements. The K-8 Religious Education Registration deadline, August 31st, is just around the corner. Registration materials are located in the gathering space and on the parish website. For more information, please see Shannon Duffy in the gathering space after Mass. RE classes start September 8th, 9th, and 11th. Calling all youth in grades 6 through 12. Registration for our youth groups is officially open through the website. If you're new or returning, we'd love you, for you to join us. Bring your friends along, too. Everyone is welcome. Confirmation classes for our youth begin next Sunday, August 25th, right after the 11 o'clock Mass, starting with a picnic lunch. While our youth leaders meet with the confirmation candidates, there will be a brief parent meeting for those who missed the June session. Contact Angie Goodwin at the parish office for further information. And now please stand and greet those around us as we prepare for Mass. Good evening. Good evening, Father. Let's come together in prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Continue the bread of life discourse in John's Gospel again this weekend. Let's acknowledge our sins and prepare our hearts to celebrate this great banquet. Lord Jesus, you come to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, these two people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone. Holy Spirit 
Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks, Nathan. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, Come, eat my food, and drink the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live. Advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the good. and see, t- 
from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, watch carefully how you live, not as foolish persons, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine, in which lies debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Speak, O Lord, your servant is listening. You have the words of everlasting love. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled amongst themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you. This weekend, there, there's kind of a consistent theme uh, about understanding the wisdom of God and following God and knowing that God is leading us and supporting us in our world. And we hear in the, in the first uh, reading from Proverbs, uh, they talk about wisdom and how she leads us to understanding. And we see in the letter from St. Paul, Paul speaks of us singing and saying hymns and psalms to each other as, as our virtual speech. And Jesus telling us that he is the bread of life. And basically when we eat his flesh and blood, we have that understanding and that knowledge to follow the true path and remain in his love. When I look at the, the three readings and I try to come up with an analogy, I have a a slight fault in that being in the business of transportation for 30 years before I retired, sometimes I think of traffic examples. Uh, And I think most of us can relate to it. But I always think of the time when I'm getting ready, say, to head into work, or maybe you're heading to Mass or anywhere, and you maybe just leave like a minute or two later than you need to, or than you really wanted to. Not that you're not going to get there on time, but it's like, oh, I was, you know, planning to leave in at at 9 or 8, and it's now 8.02 or 9.02, so you're just a couple minutes late. And it seems like whenever I have that happen, every single streetlight I come up to turns red. And it's just like, you know, you're you're looking and you're going, okay, you know, I'm, I'm still on time, but you know, now I'm getting closer. And then you get to the next light, and it's, it's red. And you're just like, you know, how can this happen? So by the time you get to your destination, your mood's a little foul, you're just upset, and you feel like, you know, why did this ha- have to happen this time? Why couldn't it some other time? And if we juxtapose that, to the time where maybe we leave a few minutes earlier than we planned. We get in the car and we go a little bit before and we hit those same red lights. What is our reaction to that red light? It's, oh, that song on the radio is one I really like and you kind of enjoy listening to it. Or, you know, oh, the the sky is is pretty clear and there's a beautiful cloud or you're, if it's in the evening maybe you notice the sunset at that red light same exact situation but a completely different response to that and it's all because of how we're viewing those same red lights one time we're stressed out and we're upset by it and the other time oh it gives us that chance to kind of ponder the world around us And I think the readings are kind of telling us that. Uh, The reading from Proverbs 
is kind of an interesting set when you look at where it's at. Uh, it's talking about basically two different situations, one being uh, a person or a woman calling uh, people to uh, evil life or an improper life. And then the section we hear is where the, the good spirit or the spirit of wisdom is calling them to a holy life. And it's the idea of what they're, how they're looking at it and what they're looking for. Are you looking for that positive good in the world or are you looking for everything that's bad? And I purposely uh, took the line from Paul, which you probably wouldn't even notice had I not brought it up, but Paul literally tells us to sing hymns, hymns and songs to each other as our speech. Well, Julie Andrews in The Sound of Music can do that quite well, but I think you've all heard me sing, and that's probably not a good idea for me to try that. Uh, you know, so, but what I think uh, Paul's getting at isn't necessarily the idea of actually us breaking out into tune to each other, but that our speech to each other is pleasant, it's kind, it, it's, it's embracing as a song would be. And I think that's an important thing to look at. And finally, in the gospel, we hear Jesus telling us uh, that we need to eat his flesh and drink his blood, and that that will give us everlasting life. And I think the big thing there, too, is he says, if you do this, you are in me and I am in you. And I think that is the important thing. It's the idea of that, yes, we are receiving the body and blood, but it's the strength that it gives us to continue, not just on Saturday evening or Sunday, but throughout our whole week. And so coming back to that idea of the, the red light, if we're viewing it with the strength of Christ and Christ being in us and having died for our sins and that we will go to heaven because of that, then we can look at our world as, yes, we can take that minute to ponder at the red light and not be upset. We can look at things in a positive way. And I think that's the response Jesus wants us to have when we're receiving his body and blood. And I think when we do that, we'll find that others respond more positively to us. So not only is our mood better, but hopefully the people around us are in a better mood as well. And I think that's what Jesus would really want us to do. Reach out and sing that psalm of praise to each other and be kind and make everyone else better and kinder around us. We stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He was again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward. Amen. 
fortified by the Word of God and inspired by the Spirit, we offer these prayers for the needs and concerns of all God's people. For the church, that as we eat, eat Christ's body and drink his blood, we may recognize ourselves as part of the body of Christ and continue the mission of Jesus to bring life to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, that leaders of government and business will be led by the wisdom of God to choose good rather than evil, honesty rather than deceit, and service rather than greed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all working to build our church, for their safety, for good weather, that the results of their work will glorify God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all students preparing to leave for college, that God will guide them during their time away, help them to make wise decisions, and give them strength to live the values that they have professed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially for Bruce Cool, Father of Brandon Cool, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we pause to mention now in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you call us to be your disciples, to live lives of service. Hear our prayers and help us to be faithful witnesses of your power and presence in our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. that love is building there is room enough for all endless welcome in her rafters mercy singing to her walls here is refuge for all people from every tribe and tongue in the house that love is building there is room in for everyone. In the garden love is tending, there's a great and boundless feast where the seeds of hope are planted and the yield is heaven's peace. As the field becomes a harvest for the many hungry ones In the garden love is tending, there's enough for everyone Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. In your existence, I have passed the name of us. The praise and glory of his name are our good and good of the church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
is right and just. Truly, it is right and just. Our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. So with all the angels we praise you and in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with all of our bishops, the clergy, and with all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, St. Thomas More, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share that peace now with each other. Peace, peace Jim, thank you. I'm going to go back and close that a little Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say the word. Miracle of grace, mystery of faith, calling us to venture to the deep. Though our senses fail, your grace is still prevailed. We become the love that we receive. Bread of love.
feed the hungry heart with bread come down from heaven above. And like a grain of wheat, we fall down at your feet, dying here with you, oh let us rise, bread of life. covenant you sealed with your very body and your blood. Come claim your bride again with love that cannot end, for what God joins no one can divide. Bread of love. senses fail, your grace is still prevail, and we become the love that we receive, bread of life, bread of life, those who eat this bread shall live. Let us pray.
made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thanks, Piper. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God. Let us live our lives so that all might see that our hearts are restless till they rest in thee. Let us build your kingdom in truth and grace so that all might know they have a rightful place. Beauty ever ancient and Breaking through our deafness so we hear you Shattering the darkness of night A new dawn is rising to bring your light To all the world Let us live our lives so that all might see That our hearts are restless till they rest in thee Let us build your kingdom in truth and grace So that all might know they have a rightful place. Together in your presence we came to be one in spirit, in truth, and name, strengthened by the body of Christ, taking up the call now to share your light with all the world. Let us live our lives so that all might see that our hearts are restless till they rest in thee. Let us build your kingdom in truth and grace so that all might know they have a rightful